guys, it's Shane here with the May My Glam bag. Like always with my My Glam videos, I want to give my little spiel. Um, if you don't know what My Glam is, it's a monthly subscription service. You pay $10 a month to receive four to five deluxe size or full size beauty samples. I've been subscribed to My Glam since the very beginning, since they released their first bag in December. So I have now received all six of their bags. So if you want to see what was in the December, January, February, March, and April bags. I'll link all of those videos down below. Uh, but before I get started on the actual what's in the May My Glam bag, there's two things I want to mention. One, my camera's about to die, first of all. So if it dies, I'm sorry, but never mind. Um, the actual two things I wanted to mention is one, I'm using natural lighting. Um, let me know if you like this rather than other than this. And two, I did dye my hair like I mentioned in my last video. So it's Dark Brown by Revlon. There's really not much I want to get into about it because I kind of talk about it in my outfit of the week. So let's get into the May My Glam bag. So this is what the bag actually looks like for this month. Um, I didn't think I would like it after looking at the sneak peek because I thought it would look like last month's which is like a really like shiny color and I just I thought it would be shiny but it's not it's basically like the first bag except for it has little kisses on it so that is what the bag looks like and this is what the card looks like the theme for this month is love and love is in the air which I was like okay <laughs> that would be good for February but um Mac Barbie 07 or Bethany is on the card and then the back obviously lists all the products and a little description about them which I will use to read sorry if I'm rushing my camera's dying so let's get started on what's inside the bag so the first thing is this Miss Beauty Nail Bling, and on the card it says nail art that will make you fall head over heels in an instant. Um, basically, they're just like little rhinestones with like pink rhinestones that make little heart imprints. I don't think I would wear these on every single nail just because that would be too excessive, but maybe as an accent finger it would be cute. Um, maybe, I don't know. I'm, I've never seen like nail bling like this. I've used the nail stickers from Kiss. Um, I did a review on them. I did not like them whatsoever. I'm just not talented when it comes to stickers on your nails. It just doesn't work for me. But I will try these out. Um, it's basically like a nail sticker except for it's like little rhinestones. So I will try these. The next thing is a sample of Philosophy's Love Sweet Love um, Spray Fragrance. The one thing I hate about this, I love this entire product, the one thing I hate is that it's a baby sample. It's something that you can get at Sephora or Ulta for free. Um, I kind of wish they would give us like a little jar maybe or a little spray, like something tiny. Like it doesn't have to be like the full size, you know what I mean? On the card it says feel smitten and irresistibly pr irresistibly pretty with this flirty fruity fragrance. I do like the way this smells. I am wearing this to prom. By the way, it's supposed to rain on prom. Like first world problems, but still like it better not rain. But um, I like the smell of this. It's a very mature like sophisticated scent, but it still has kind of like a fruity florally scent to it. So it's still really really nice and it's really wearable. So I really can't wait to wear this. I do like this. Just wish it was a little bit bigger. The next two things are the final My Glam Signature Collection brushes. Um, there's the concealer brush, which is a really small, kind of dense synthetic fiber or synthetic fiber synthetic bristle brush. I think this would be perfect if you don't want to use it for concealer. For a lip brush, it would just kind of like spread out the lipstick or whatever. I would probably use that for this. And the other one is the defining eyeliner brush. We got an eyeliner brush in our last bag that's like an angled eyeliner brush. I don't particularly like using angled eyeliner brushes. I just can't really apply my eyeliner well with that. So I'm glad they sent this. I can use this really greatly with, really greatly, amazingly with eyeliner. Um, but I also, if you don't want to use it for that, you could also use it as a lip brush, just saying. And then the last and final thing is something I was the most excited for. It is a Studio Gear Complete Color, what's it called? Um, Studio Gear Complete Color Lipstick. It says rich color that plumps and hydrates for perfectly kissable lips. I've never heard of Studio Gear before, but I love lip products, so so excited. Um, the packaging for this is so sleek. I love it. It's like matte packaging. It just looks so nice. And the color I got, because everybody got a different color, is Misty Mauve, and it's a semi-matte. And when I first opened this, I did not think I was going to like it whatsoever. Um, it just looks really weird, but on the lips, it's like a vampy nude. It's really, really cool, especially with my dark hair. It just looks really, really awesome. So I really like this color. Um, I'm probably going to get a lot of use out of it, so I really like that. So that's it for what's in the May My Glam bag. And now if you stuck around this long in the title, I did put that I have a haul. Um, I have two things I want to show you guys from Ulta. I went shopping for two things that I needed, or 
really wanted for prom. The first is something that I actually received in my December glam bag. I'll show you what my sample looks like. It was the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This was the sample I received in my December glam bag, the first one ever. And I'm finally throwing it away because it is dried up and disgusting. So I got a full size. Love this stuff. On the box it says it increases your lash volume by 424%. Love it. They also have a waterproof, waterproof version of this. It's called Lights Camera Splashes. I think that's pretty cute. But this is what it looks like. It looks a little bit different than the uh, sample size. It's got like this weird fabric on it, but it's the best mascara I've ever used. It's perfect for layering. Um, have it on right now. Absolutely love it. And then the other thing that I got at Ulta, oh by the way, this was um, $19. A little bit pricey for a mascara, but I love it. I use it till it's like completely dry. And then the last thing I got is from Urban Decay. And it's All Nighter. It's Urban Decay by Scandinavia All Nighter, which is a long-lasting makeup setting spray. I got this for prom because I do not want my makeup sweating off that night. Um, I got the full size. This is $29, which is, again, really, really pricey, but I felt like I needed it. Um, I've been using it the past uh, three-ish days to school because today's Wednesday. And I really like the way it is. It's oil-free. It's paraben-free. Um, and I really like it. I like the way it smells. It really has no scent to it. Um, you just kind of hold it like... I hold it probably this far away from my face and do like 10 or like not 10, like 5 squirts. Like I'll do 2 on my forehead, my cheeks, and then my nose. But um, yeah, I love that. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in my next video. Subscribe if you're not already. And yeah, that's my little spiel for the end of the video. <laughs> Bye guys.